Hi there and welcome back. So in this video I'm going to walk you through a simple audio generator in Odini. By the way, you can grab the IP file on my Patreon. So I'm starting with a grid that has a fit random function on its dimensions, so it gives different results within a range. Transforming the middle points and bridging the sides. Now dividing the geometry so I can deform it in the next step. My goal was to create a smooth tapering effect and for that I'm creating a ramp over the relative bounding box X in this case. The rest of the code is just a formula to mirror the ramp so I don't have to do it manually. Then just polyfill the bottom part so we can extrude it later. So in here I am placing a point over the center and using again a fit function with random making sure it stays on the initial grid with the bounding box function. Then doing the same operations in here. At the end I have a switch that randomly shows or hides the roof module, again generated by the global seed. Finally adding a roof to the other side using the same approach. Splitting the geo by the patch group generated by the fill node and extruding it to create the walls and merging everything back. So the next step is to add windows and a door. For that I am extracting the silhouette of the walls, converting it to curves, removing the smaller parts where you shouldn't generate windows and resampling it, controlling the amount of windows. In here I'm removing the primitive that will have a door instead. For the door I'm using a similar approach but only selecting a single primitive randomly and extracting the centroid. Back to the windows, this vex snippet just iterates over the door points, in this case just one, and grabs the primitive associated using the xyz dist function. Then just remove that primitive in the second wrangle. We can grab the normals from the walls in order to orient properly the windows. In this case I'm also copying a box to boolean out the shape on the walls, both for the windows and the door. And finally copying the geo to place. In here creating a chimney by scattering a point on the roof geo making sure to scale it down a bit so it doesn't generate points at the borders of the roof. Then just copying a simple generated model. Now the roof tiles. I'm iterating over each roof to generate a grid of points. The first thing I did was to extend a bit the shape so it has some overhanging at the edges. Doing that by manipulating the normals and peaking. I am also extending sideways, taking into consideration the orientation of the roof and on which side is positioned. For that I saved out some attributes at the beginning, then using a switch to do the corresponding operation. Now for the grid of points generation, my idea is to flatten the mesh and use the divide node to create the initial geo. But I can't simply flatten the shape, I need to take into consideration the initial shape, width and height, basically doing some manual UV projection. To get the width and height, I am measuring the area, then just like we did on the procedural roof video, calculate the width from the bounding box and the height from the area. Finally, we can flatten and change the dimensions accordingly with the match size node. So the next step is to use a divide node to subdivide our plane, cleaning any inner polygons in between. Extracting the centroid and blasting the center points, as I want a different set of points and geometry in that part. I give it also an ID attribute. For the center points I am extracting the middle edge, resampling it to the amount of tiles I need, orienting it by the tangent and giving it a different ID. 
And the final step in the loop is to path deform the points with the extracted original profile, not forgetting to transfer the normals from the original geo. To finish this part I am properly orienting the geo with an up attribute and a bit of randomization on the normals and giving it some random scale too. Finally copying two points using the piece attribute ID. In here I'm just creating some sort of wood beams for the hard edges of the geo, nothing fancy, just using the sweep node. For the final part I wanted to create some wood planks along the walls, so for that I am first cleaning the initial geo and then iterating over each primitive. We will save the geo position to restore it later, but for now we place it in the center. Now in order to divide the mesh we will need to orient the geo properly and for that I am just copying it to a point and orienting it with the original normals of the geo. We end up with the geo all aligned in the center, this way is easier to divide the mesh. Finally just restoring the initial position. From there we can inset and extrude to create the wood planks look. Then boolean the windows and door and just for visualization I am also creating some color variation. As an example, I fed uh, the generator to a copy two points in a for loop, so I can get different variations for each iteration. So yeah, that's basically it, very simple SOP operations, and the final result is interesting in my opinion. Don't forget you can always grab the file from my Patreon, and I hope you have learned a few tips. See you next time!